I didn't feel any pressure whatsoever about you know taming taming the character or, or uh, anything like that, especially from the studio. No, on the contrary, um, um, after after having they were a little bit uh, they had a slightly more conservative um, um, idea of what the character might might be on the first uh, Pirates, and then on the second one and the third one they they kind of let me. Let me go, you know. <laughs> go ahead, you know. You know, I, the thing is, uh, it has been a blast for me uh, getting to, you know, being on the, the kind of the creation of Captain Jack and watching him, you know, evolve. Um, would I do a four or five and a six and onwards? You know, if every, if, if, if all the, you know, ducks were in a row, as it were, yeah, sure, why not? I don't, I don't remember that I, that I dressed up as a pirate, but I, do, but I do remember wanting to be a pirate at a certain stage in my life. Well, I mean, it means everything. It means that, you know, these guys out here who, who, who come to support us, you know, um, without them, there would have been no Pirates 2, there would have been no Pirates 3, none of us would be here now, so um, I, can, I consider it them who, who gave me the job. You know. It was amazingly um, normal and calm and right. You know, Keith came on and and uh, <clears throat> was was beautiful. He was totally professional, perfect. You know, came in, knew his words, did his bit. You know. It's a relief. <laughs> to be completely honest, I think you, you know, you worry. It's like a child that you worry about and then you're sort of relieved when it reaches 18. So, I'm relieved. <laughs> I don't see it as work. I mean, if it was work, I would have, I would walk away from it. I'm not big into work. I'm a little lazy like that.
Um, yes, well, I've only met him once, so I'll meet him again, and, and I suppose I do. I don't know. We'll see. He was very nice the first time, so. And the thing that surprised me, one was his humour, and two was his generosity as an actor. Because I think the thing about Sean is that he wants to make you good in the scene. And that's a lovely, lovely thing to be working opposite. And I think he's very um, sexy in this movie. <laughs> I can't quite believe that all these people showed up here for me. I'm slightly embarrassed and now I go, oh my gosh, I hope I've got a good enough speech worked out. Favorite? No. My next one. Whatever I'm working on next is what I enjoy. It's a character in the film. I don't think it would be the movie that it is without it being where this is taking place. There's a tension in the air. There's, a, there's something about a city of 27 million people. I think it's the largest city in the world that, that puts a pressure on you. With the... Something good, uh, a good story. This was a good read. And, uh, with uh, never done anything like this before. I've been to award shows, but not where I was the only one honored and, you know, so it's a whole different kind of, kind of vibe. She's good. I don't. She coped like any actor would. I mean, I don't know what she went through personally. You have to ask her. But what her method is, if you will. But she's an actor. She just knows how to act.
looking forward to seeing uh, it, this movie with an audience. I think it's going to be great. She, she observed it and she said it was artwork every day. I don't it know if this is making day. me feel better because I said <laughs> No, it was. It's artwork every day. I thought it was amazing. The music, the models, the costumes, the design, it was amazing. I have to say that Sir Ben is, has such an ability to manipulate words in a way that it's it's just beautiful to to watch him. Like I went in on my days off to watch him shoot with Josh, and the scene is, is quite serious. But he's incredibly funny. Like he has such a knack to to constantly ride the edge of where things are, and I think that's that balance is really hard to achieve, and he does it so beautifully. I, I don't know, I can't be objective about it. I, I enjoyed making it and working with Nicole Kidman and Gary Sinise, Ned Harris, and Robert Benton's a wonderful director. It was all very, very, very easy. No challenges. Yeah, it did. And we, we did a reshoot um, uh, in January, and uh, which was very good, the end of the movie, which really brought it all together. And it was wonderful working with Ryan Gosling and um, Greg Hubbard. Wonderful bunch of people. I could only best describe it as a, a smooth, elegant kind of movie, which is rare. And in 1973, I came out to make a movie. And I was staying at the Sunset Mar Marquee up on the strip there. So I bought a map on my first weekend off. And I walked down here and I had lunch at the old Brown Derby on Hollywood and Vine. And I knew that I would, I'd arrived here. Well, it's exactly this, the, um, an elegant, kind of uh, classy, well-written, well-constructed script. And, um, I'd be a fool to turn it down. They offered it me. I said, sure, I'll do it. I don't know him well. I've worked with him once. Uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, it was some time ago, and uh, I don't. I have no idea what I'm going to say, except it's an honour to be asked to do it. Um, and he's, uh, I think, uh, so, so well deserved. He's 
amazing the big star of today. Oh, he's, he's great. He's a very funny man, as you know. He's unstoppable, endless energy. And it was a tough film to make in many ways because there's a lot of action and he travel a lot with went to Prague. And, Well, I was just excited to make this big action movie that also has a lot of great ideas in it, and that was just exciting to me to make an entertaining film that also would make people think. And then the story, I think, really speaks to our generation in so many ways about how we're all sort of searching for this unique position and unique role to fill in the world, and it's such like a scary, confusing part of your life. Well, it stands for a lot of things. Um, you know, in the actual, the original graphic novel is separated into chapters that each has a different V word as, as you know, its title. So there's one that's a vaudeville, there's one that's um, like victory. Thing is, for me, I didn't have the same like coming home experience as the character Large does in the film Zach Braff's character. Because first of all, I've been acting since I was 12, so like all my friends have always known me as an actress, you know. And I'm still friends with the same people I was friends with like all throughout. So, um, and we've been hanging out together all throughout. So, it's sort of how they know me. It's not, it's not this like big change or anything. And they're pretty cool about it. How, how you relate to each other, how you talk about things, how open you are with each other, how much you let feelings come out. I found that in losing the weight, I, I, I didn't uh, feel bad at all. I got very weak, obviously, and I changed character completely due to the lack of energy. And you know, it, 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 it adjusts everything, but I never felt like I was in trouble. I think there's been a, enough time between the disappointments of the last movies um, to see a revival um, in a completely new and original way. Um, a revival which harks back actually to the original Bob Kane intentions of 1939. The, this Batman is a dark and threatening superhero. He's a questionable superhero with questionable motives. And, uh, and also to make it that it, it goes beyond being a comic book movie. Well, the fact is, I mean, you know, what I mean when I say that is 
it's not as if there's tons of them out there anyway. You know, it's not as if you look at uh, every movie that, that, that comes out in the year and there are an awful lot of, of really special, unique movies, you know? They just aren't there for anybody. My fear is boredom. My fear is being boring, you know? So if you can work some kind of superhero out of that, you know, Mr. Boring, I, I don't know what it would be. Yeah, you know, it's surreal beyond belief, but I got no illusions. They're here shouting for Batman, they ain't shouting for me.